take me far. Thanks for your time. Okay. So oh, shall we start? Yes. So how are you? How is your day today? Yeah, I am going good. Doing good. Thank you. And okay. Yeah, actually just uh, I came from work, so that's what a bit late for me. No problem. Uh, no problem. You already on the time, so five minutes. It's happen sometime. Even you are attending yeah. the real time interview. Okay, so just tell me about your uh, total year of experience or your primary skill set, your secondary skill set, mm-hmm. and in which project do you have worked? And you can also define your relevant experience like manual and automation. Suppose you are doing some manual task. What is your roles and responsibility for automation? What you have done in your current project? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So. Uh, I am Christian based, and I have done my post graduation MCA from Ghazipur in 2016. So currently, I am working in an uh, uh, in an I am working in a service based company, and I am having completing seven years of experience. So I am working on a client project that is HPI. So it is a e-commerce project that is ECC Global Customer Care. So it is a web based as well as mobile based application so in this the roles and responsibilities are like firstly we have to go the manual test cases according to the functionality then we'll automate it accordingly then after that we have to create the new methods new test cases accordingly then we have to trigger the genes of the actions we have accordingly apart from that we have Following the agile process, so in that we are discussing about the features and functionality in which we are working on that. So based upon that, yeah, if we are like studying anywhere, somewhere from the functionality point of view, then yes, we can go ahead for that, right? <clears throat> the product owner and also for the team member also. Then we have to communicate with other team members also for the same functionality if we are stuck in somewhere, and also like for if we have got a document from the client side like from our brd like business development specification then firstly we have to go through the test document plan so in that we have to like uh, written all the things our sprint in how many days we are working on that and what are the stories we have so like that and we are working like uh, both on like manual as well as automation so yeah as of now like more in manual because like uh, i worked on that the banking domain project also an iot based project in which we have to firstly we have to connect the devices with the circuit also parallelly we have to connect with the mobile that is like android as well as uh, ios and also i worked on the global payment system so in which we are connecting with the simulator like master card visa card so accordingly we can do the authorization there are some multiple authorization okay. like 200 series 100 accordingly so based upon that yeah we are working our like testing scenarios which we have so like this we are doing okay uh, so can me uh, can you explain like complete agile process in real time how you are like how we are following in the project and what ceremony we are start like a starting of the sprint and ending of the sprint how the things are working in agile environment yeah so like in the agile environment uh, first of all it is the we are following the we have a sprint two weeks uh, sprint so in that first of all we have to make a create a test plan that's your test document plan mm-hmm. so on the on the basis mm-hmm. of that we have to to discuss like how many stories we are in on a particular sprint so mm-hmm. we have a sprint grooming call so in okay. that we are discussing about the project manager like this to the developer as well as the testers also like uh, first of all developer says that how many days we can or how many points we have to turn with that work and also then after that we the testers are are doing the same thing for mm-hmm. that So in the agile mm-hmm. process, like we are doing the daily basis work, we have a daily target uh, on a particular tickets, like 
we are following the jira so according to the ticket wise we are working on that so our main target like we have to achieve that the whatever the targets we have so we have to do the target by the end of it okay so uh, what type of the tickets you are getting like we have a user story new features or you are doing some defect so what type of the mainly uh, tickets you are uh, like you have working on that like what types many activities are there right so yeah we have yeah user stories we have so first of all we have to go through the stories and also parallelly we have to there is a epic link on the basis of that we have to go through thoroughly so first of all we have to make a test plan for the same mm mm-hmm. this is our main priority then we'll go for the test cases part so like this then after that the test cases part we have we are testing the scenario what we have accordingly so first of all we have to go through the user story okay so uh user story uh, okay suppose you, suppose uh, our sprint is started right so developer is working on the code changes so what the testers are doing suppose we have a one user story for new features so developers are working on the development part in this situation like the what the testers are doing parallelly are you understanding my point yeah. suppose we have a one user story right suppose mm-hmm. they are going to add some features so because we have a less time right two weeks it's a very less in the last phase we are getting the things on the qa right deployment will happen so you have a very less time and in less time how you can validate uh, all the changes yeah so in this case like we have to do for all regression testing for the same mm-hmm. so it means that like uh, the existing the functionality we have to check the some existing scenario like uh, if uh, developers are saying like we have to change some functionality as per the requirement Mm-hmm. So yeah, we have to go ahead for. That. So uh, yeah, so basically, oh, uh, as as per the user story, our job is to start to understanding the requirement parallelly. Okay, then we are finding the high level of the scenario. Then we are writing uh, the test cases for multiples. Then we can parallelly also uh, have our test data. Right, everything get ready when the. De- build will deploy in the qa our job is to start to the execution so all the things we should have are ready because in top of this <laughs> the time is very less for us right if we are doing yeah. any delays the escalation will come to us only not for the developers okay so yeah uh, okay fine so what is severity and priority yeah so uh, first of all like priority is that like we have a functionality mm-hmm. suppose the login button is not working then yet we can go we can the functionality is not working then yet we can say that it is the mm-hmm. priority and where is severity uh, sometimes like there is an bit uh, we have a changes like a uh, button sometimes like working or not or color changes or spanning things like some bit changes then we can go go oh, that is can you part. can you give me the one suppose you are finding some defect so so what level of severity and priority you will assign in your defect like you have to select right while raising the defect in the jiva you have to select severity and priority so in in which basis you will select in your jira like while creating the defect yeah so while creating the defect we have to like priority that is if the functionality is not working then yeah it is a like high priority and the uh, severity is medium or sometimes like low if according to the functionality and also like uh, severity is a, uh, we can say that the term that denotes like how severely a defect can affect the functionality of the software whereas the priority is a term like that defines How fast we need to fix that artifact? Yeah. So how much impact we have in our application that will define the severity and priority? How how we can fix as soon as possible, right? So this is what severity and priority. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, so suppose ah uh, you are doing testing, right? So 
you have to do in which scenario you will do sinity testing and in which scenario you can do a, a smoke test mm, yes. so basically sanity testing uh when the thing like uh, uh we can say we have to cover the like uh, all the things uh, like that is used to validate the changes made to one or more few specific parts of the application like in order to make sure that the software is still functioning as expected so after a small like change for us bug fix mm-hmm. so yeah we can say that that is a sanity oh. testing and it is also like used like uh, that is conducting more extensive testing such as regression testing mm-hmm. and whereas yeah smoke testing oh. smoke test is done to make sure we have uh sure that the critical functionality of the program is are working fine okay so where is sanity test oh, is going to check that hey. the newly added okay so suppose uh, okay. a customer uh-huh. is reported one bug in your production so as a tester what you will do yeah suppose yeah so in this case we have to check again like uh, the main pre- uh, prerequisites like we have to first of all check the bug whether uh when where it is failing so some like yeah sometimes functionality issue or yeah they resign from the customer and then yeah we can check again and also like uh, we have to check thoroughly means whether where we are lacking in payment actually what happen in this case your lead and manager will ask you we have done our sign off right why this defect came on the production so how you can tackle this like how you can tackle this because again the customer will ask why this mm-hmm. things you guys miss it okay so so might be some escalation came and uh, we have to handle it so how we will handle it so in this case like uh, yeah we can um, again to check like where it we are like lacking or yeah that time sometimes like that time it was working fine now some issue is going to come now so this is like we have to check again in this condition okay so mainly nothing you know we are humans beings and mistakes will happen so yeah, uh, nothing is 100% so first we can yeah. check our functionality in lower environment we can clone it the yeah. test cases okay. in the lower environment we can check it right is it a mistake yeah. in our side or it mistake will happen now right so we can make a proper yeah. validation proper documents and we can present our team lead and our manager if our mistake happen definitely we will accept and will convince them yeah uh, we the next time definitely uh, we have to take care like just we can convince them right so that is what how because if sometime right uh, functionality is working and sometime it is not working so while taking the screenshot uh, you have a proper screenshot with time stamp some of the very uh, critical functionality so when you are working in the project sometime you know production leakage is coming for the so we have a idea okay so this functionality sometime happen so we can have a proper proof even we can record that also so we have a proof hey, that time this is working yes. and this time it's not working this is not our mistake so we have a clearly see in it sector straight forward nothing is hiding and all we have a proof right that's it understood right so be confident we can go through that and we can recreate ask this give me some time i'm going to reproduce the issue and i will give you the report okay so no. okay fine okay uh so uh how will you rate in your automation testing out of five three three so which language you are comfortable java java okay so what is list and set in java uh list is basically uh, 
we have to uh, suppose in list mm -hmm. the main difference between list mm -hmm. and set the list is an index sequence whereas okay. the set is an uh, like non index uh, index sequence and also the list it allows a duplicate element mm -hmm. whereas the set it doesn't allow the duplicate okay and uh, the list elements by their like position can be accessed whereas in the set position access to element is not allowed so this is the main uh, some difference between hmm. list and set okay yeah list allows the duplicate element and maintains the their order okay so what is the difference between array While and collection and shows sorry uh, i'm asking the second question what is the difference between array and collection so array basically we can say it is a lambda language it is a homogeneous like the same data we have mm -hmm. and whereas uh, a collection it is the like we have a bundle of like we have interface classes variables like that mm -hmm. a collection is basically uh, we have a uh, multiple things on it whereas an array is a homogeneous same element okay but in array we can also store heterogeneous object yeah we can store how we can store then then we can also store homogeneous object in array and collection these are the similarity what what is the main disadvantage of an array why java people have developed the collection framework yeah so basically uh, we can say array are used to like store the multiple values in a single variable mm -hmm. instead of declaring the separate variable of mm -hmm. for the each value mm -hmm. and an array we can say it is a container object that holds a fixed number of values of a single type mm -hmm. yeah these are the uh, major then, yeah <laughs> these are the major difference and we have, we don't have uh, any predefined Uh, i can say library in array so any mm -hmm. requirement will come then you have to explicitly uh, implement uh, that logic so any complex scenario it is very difficult to do it but collection we have a complete framework and we have a multiple features in the collection like list you have already explain set if you want to store you know unique object right and it is working on the hashing algorithm and we have a map also we can store so it is a small type of the database also we can store you know we don't have any limitation to store the value we can add remove so this flexibility is not available in your i can say array okay yeah and also like to also we can can we say that like it is an the collection java is a framework that provides an architecture to store and manipulate the group of objects yes yes you can say so collection is a group of yeah. object which is used to store unique duplicates object and without size limitation and you can just explain hierarchy of the collection so we have a multiple flavor list set and map right and the main advantage of the collection is we have a flexible you know we can store and we can add and delete so there is no restriction and we have a uh, you know like a number of like methods or uh, classes implementation of the classes of array list link list so we have a many features inside this mm -hmm. so like that you can explain okay okay so uh, what is a uh, overriding uh, overriding in java yeah overriding in java it's like uh, it is a method is one of the way like by which java achieves runtime polymorphism okay and also okay. Uh, it occurs like when a subclass that is style class had has the same method as in the mm -hmm. as a parent class mm -hmm. or in other words we can say that the method overriding it occurs like when a subclass provides a particular implementation of a method declared by one of parent method okay so uh, can you write a piece of the code of overriding if you comfortable yeah sure i will try this 
let me uh, i make you the host yeah. you are able to share the screen now you can open any editor online editor okay so we have one online editor uh, java compiler i am ping you one second you can share your uh, screen uh, christian you are able to share your screen yeah. i ma make you the host i ping you one link on the chat oh yeah are you sharing the screen okay okay yeah i'm sharing actually okay. the button is not clickable okay 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 Just no no me, um... it's sharing sharing uh it's loading still it is loading it's showing the blank uh now can it's I open yeah yeah i am able to see. i am able to see okay so you can write the overriding code okay Okay, I will try this. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can try it. No issue. Sure. Suppose no problem. You can take your time. So this Zoom meeting have a twenty minutes uh, validity. Okay, I think not twenty minutes, forty minutes. Okay. I think your uh, system is bit slow. Okay. Okay. No issue. Yeah. Now, are you able to see my screen? Ah, I am able to see. You can go ahead. Yeah, it is slow. I don't know what is. Are Some you there sharing? There is network the issue, or maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Might be actually raining outside. I think your side is also raining. Okay. Yeah. Where you are staying? I am staying in Hyderabad. Okay. And where are you from? Actually, actually I am from uh, uh, Bihar. My native place is near Patna. So here I am assuming. After return, you can give the one a space. So return a space zero eight, or you can correct the first line as well. Ah, uh, sorry, line number six. No, oh, no, you should not delete. Okay. Yeah. How to execute this code? Okay. So there is an another bank. Hmm. Like yes, I see. I see. Are you creating the test runner class? No, I think two 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 class is fine. No issue. You cannot extend another class also. So two class is fine. Okay, I fine. just need how it will work. Means at a runtime when you will execute, how these things will work. Can you can you can you execute this code? Like uh, yeah. like yeah. Sure. No, when you will call this right uh, mm -hmm. so you are doing some mistakes here so first mistakes you have to remove uh, class you are closing right you are closing line number 13 line number 13 so yeah. we cannot close the class here right because main method is there okay and uh, yeah can you run it again it's compiling or not I think it will direct uh, compile and execute at a time uh, main method not found bank okay i'm not sure this is the some editor issue because editor is not able to understand okay leave it now just just one thing 
suppose uh, you are saving the SBI right as a uh, subclass okay and uh, when you will call the method so which method will execute superclass method or subclass suppose you are creating a bank b equal to SBI okay new SBI okay and you are calling b dot get ratio of interest so which method will execute Uh, can you please come again? Sorry. Uh... Yeah. Uh, okay. So you can just type here after 14. Uh, we have a 14 line, right? Just enter and type. I'm just saying what I'm trying to say. Uh, you can write bank, B N K bank, bank, a, a space B. You can B equal to equal to new, new. Uh, SVI object you have to hold okay this is the object creation okay you can give that yeah. semicolon and when you will call b dot get ratio interest so which method will execute b dot b dot you can call the method right so this is the your non static method so not you have to reference variable b Dot. So in this case, which method will execute? Superclass or subclass? Super it won't be executed because of compiler. Uh, I think you will run with your own editor. It will work this code. When you will save mm -hmm. SVI, okay, then it will work. So. Uh, did you understand my question right when you will access yeah. get ratio of yeah. interest which method will execute yeah so this one like uh, rate in, rate of interest why this method will execute where, uh, because here here we have to create an object for the sbi okay mm -hmm. okay okay fine i understand it, that yeah i understand that that is fine is uh, correct okay or? so yeah it, it is correct correct it's correct okay so uh suppose you have to write a uh, one logic okay and you have to uh, print the duplicate character in the string just you can say the logic you should not write that because it will take time just how you can do it uh, sorry can you please suppose uh we have a uh, uh some uh, a string okay a string mm -hmm. we have a uh, something uh, a b again a b and c okay so your output mm -hmm. is a equal to 2 b equal to 2 and c equal to 1 so you have to print number of character uh, sorry uh, you have to print only duplicates character so how what is the logic mm, okay so uh here in this case like in this program mm -hmm. firstly we need to find the duplicate characters in the string mm -hmm. so uh, we have to sort the given string like through the loop by sorting the array to find mm -hmm. the duplicates mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so in that case like suppose a string here abc mm -hmm. can put so here mm -hmm. duplicate characters in a book like in the string is uh, for example a is two times mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. do you have a uh, any logic in your mind to we can solve this using the hash map mm, yes yes uh, okay uh, you can try later okay help. okay you can try later no issue okay. Uh, I'll just move in the some selenium part. Can you make me the host now? Okay, so uh, and you can answer your screen. So in selenium, right? How will you rate out of five? Three. Three. So I just don't go in selenium because I don't have a much time here. Ten minutes. Okay, I think it's good running in the time. So in selenium, how to handle alert pop-up uh, uh, 
okay how to enter the alert pop up so in yes. this case like uh, yes. um, firstly we have to go uh, there are like some methods mm-hmm. to handle mm-hmm. the alerts mm-hmm. uh, like void dismiss so this, mm-hmm. this method is used when the cancel button is clicked how to switch how to switch and on the alert pop up what is the code of that uh switch to driver and what is the uh we have a alert right alert interface alert reference yeah. variable equal to driver dot switch to dot alert so this line will switch, switch to on the alert pop up then we have a dismiss accept send keys get text method we can use it okay okay yeah. uh okay fine uh can you make me the host and you can answer your screen once yeah okay so parallelly i can ask the some few question as well so like in 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 selenium right so what type of the challenges are coming right while working in the real time mm. we can say there are um, we have to change yes in the there are some like pop up handling mobile testing Mm-hmm. there are some uh, major challenges also in automation testing we okay. like we have to finding the right framework and tool mm-hmm. and effective communication and collaboration in team okay and we have to identify the test automation strategy mm-hmm. and high initial investment like uh, problem with data reliance mm-hmm. finding the right skill mm-hmm. so we have to have like, difficulty in handling the dynamic web element Okay. Mhm. Okay. So, and what are the other challenges? Has, like, yes. Challenges like slow performance web driver and browser compatibility and mm-hmm. and okay. get easily blocked by okay. okay. Uh so have you work on the API testing also? Yeah. Okay so like what what is your experience in API like uh have you done automation or only manual uh, like uh, both, but yeah more in manual just now i started the automation okay for the learning okay so what is the get and post method yeah uh, get and post method here like uh, uh get is for fetching the data mm-hmm. appending like parameter to the url mm-hmm. and ideas for the searches mm-hmm. whereas the post that is used for the updates sends the data securely in the request body okay. like perfect for the forms mm-hmm. and also yes uh, get when we have want to retrieve the data mm-hmm. and whereas use a post when we have to submit the data okay okay uh sorry uh, can you uh, please make the host and answer your screen so i have done my interview okay i'll just give you some quick feedback okay that's it are you able to do it to making the host okay i can make it i can make it reclaim the host okay okay fine i am in the okay uh, okay so uh everything looks good only just be have a be confident okay while i'm speaking so tell me about yourself you can uh, you know make the things are a step by step so interviewer is get some clear idea what this guy having that uh, you know a skill set primary skill set so he, they are because you know i think we have a less time in the interview right we because all are working professional they have a very less time so they are hurry very yeah. okay so in, in some time i take the interview they are pinging someone is pinging and hr is also pinging please take the interview right so less yeah. time less time a smart performance okay we yes. have a less time and yeah. we can do the smart performance that will things will come when you are doing lot of practice okay in the tell me about yourself just you can uh, total your of experience then you can say currently where are you working then you can say about my primary skill set right manual testing 
code java selenium i also work in the api testing so they will get clear idea okay this guy having the this skill i will go for this and you can divide your experience total year now you can just uh, as like minimum three year experience you can put in your resume uh, for the automation then you will get more calls because two year even they are not considering you are a experienced person they are considering these guys are also fresher so make your level three year and you have to bit brush up everything is good only you have to brush up and make in less time a smart answer that's it you have to do apart from that if definitely if requirement will be there i can select you the for the l1 round so again it depend upon the people are having the only automation task they will ask you the more question they will start from the automation only are you understanding my point i am just yeah. going to check everything yes. okay then according i think you are very good in the software testing part concept everything is clear just brush up your automation and you can uh, because you know uh, sometimes we have a requirement only on the automation they will start you they will ask you more question code write so we have a one java concept of the day so from there we have some important logical programming i will share the link just start to work on the coding and body language be confident okay If i don't know then don't know that's it go ahead understood right so that is i think apart from that everything is good and i think you are looking for job change also right yes. so are you getting the interview calls yeah uh, you are getting like right? not frequently but sometimes okay we'll we'll discuss more in the offline okay thanks for joining and any help you can reach out to me resources and where thank are you, you so lacking much. definitely i will help you okay so in the next bye oh, thank you so much yeah.